ecologically important 6000 levels, auto, metal and realty lead the pack. Finance Minister P. Chidambaram says that the Indian economy is stabilizing amidst the turbulent global economy, won't cross the red line of for fiscal deficit. Another Indian professional makes a mark on global stage. Hyderabad born Satya Nadella, named Microsoft CEO, becomes only the third CEO after Gates and Balmer in the history of Microsoft. And the big fight begins among major global auto companies in the 12th edition of Auto Expo. New launches might revive the struggling sector. Hello and welcome to Business Wrap. I am Sidhan Sibal and today we will talk about the 12th edition of uh, the Auto Expo and with me is a special guest uh, Arun Sharma who will just explain us uh, what's happening at the Auto Sec Expo in Greater Noida but first the stock markets. Key benchmark indices edge higher in choppy trade after a survey showed that India's service providers were optimistic in January that business activity would expand over the next year. The 50 unit CNX Nifty regained the psychologically important 6000 mark after falling below the level in early trade. The SE Sensex closed 49 points up at 20,261, while NSA Nifty closed 22 points up at 6,022. The market breadth indicating the overall health of the market was positive. BSC Auto, Metal and Realty Indices were, uh, were the top gainers up by 1.6%, each followed by Power and IT Indices. Auto shares gained momentum after several companies showcased new cars and uh, two-wheeler models at the Auto Expo 2014 in Delhi. Gainers on the chart were uh, Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Mahindra & Mahindra, Coal India and NTPC which were up by between 5-2%. to 2%. Losers on the chart were ITC, BHL, Maruti Suzuki, Sun Pharma and RIL which were down by between 2-1%. to 1%. On to global market action, European stocks edged higher on Wednesday as banks and financial services companies rallied and investors awaited a private US jobs report. Key benchmark indices in UK, Germany and France were up by between 0.17% to 0.43%. On to Asian stocks, Asian stocks were mixed on Wednesday. Key benchmark indices in Indonesia, Japan and South Korea rose by between 0.24% to 1.23%. Key benchmark indices in Hong Kong, Singapore and uh, Taiwan dropped by between 0.19% to 2.34%. Stocks mar stock markets in mainland China remain closed until uh, 7 February 2014 for the Lunar New Year holiday. Finance Minister P. Chidamram has expressed confidence that the Indian economy is stabilizing amidst the turbulent global economy. While addressing the business conclave in the Sri Ram College of Commerce in New Delhi, he said that fiscal deficit would not cross the 4.8% of GDP. We have been able to contain the fiscal deficit and I will contain the fiscal deficit to the red line that I drew about 18 months ago. I have been able to contain the current account deficit sharply from $88 billion. It will be less than $50 billion this year. We are moderating inflation. We are stabilizing India's economy in a turbulent world. There is turbulence all over the world. In China, there is slowing down of growth. In Europe, there is recession. In Africa, there is great crisis. The Argentina peso, the Turkish lira, the South African rand are all in trouble. In Indonesia, in Philippines, they are in crisis. In this very turbulent world, we have been able to stabilize India's economy. Time for a short break. More after this small break. देश एक पेड़, शाखाएं कई हैं। कुछ लोग ये जानते हैं कि लकड़ियाँ टूटे तभी उनके चूल्हे में आग जलती है। वो रोज इस पेड़ को तोड़ने के नए-नए मंसूबे करते हैं। कभी धर्म, कभी जाति, कभी भाषा, कभी वर्ग के नाम। वो तोड़ते हैं, हम टूटते हैं। वहीं एक हाथ इस पेड़ की जड़ों को सींचता है और रहेगा ताकि ये पेड़ उसकी हर शाखा, हर पत्ता, घर से सर उठा करके हरा भरा रह सके। तोड़े नहीं, जोड़े। मैं श्रवण गिरी। 
राहुल गांधी जी की इस एक सूत्र में जोड़ती विचारधारा से जुड़ा एक कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता हर हाथ शक्ति हर हाथ तरक्की बहू जी थैंक यू थैंक यू नई साड़ी के लिए नई साड़ी माँ जी उबाल आने पर तुमने आज धीमी कर दी खाना भी तुम बर्तन ढककर पका रही हो इससे सिलेंडर ज्यादा दिन चलेगा और हम सालाना गैस बिल पर डेढ़ हजार रूपए तक बचाएंगे <laughs> मतलब आ गई ना तुम्हारी तरफ से नई साड़ी बात तो आखिर एक की है ना बेटा बाल आने पर आंच धीमी करें और खाना ढक कर पकाए और सालाना डेढ़ हजार रूपए तक बचाए ब्रॉट यू बाई पी सी आर इन पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट Microsoft's board on Tuesday named Hyderabad born Satya Nadella as the chief executive of the legendary tech giant that has given products which have become household names like Windows, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook Express. The announcement elevates Nadella and offering of the Indian system to one of the highest profile corporate jobs globally. Nadella will be the only third CEO of Microsoft after founder Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer. Technology giant Microsoft has announced that Satya Nadella will be its next chief executive. Indian born Nadella is currently Microsoft's head of cloud and enterprise, which builds and runs the firm's computing platforms and developer tools. He takes over from Steve Ballmer, who announced plans to step down last year. The Hyderabad born executive joined the company in 1992 and has degrees in electronics, computer science, and business administration. Let us hear from Ramdas Madhapai, current chancellor of Manipal University, from where Nadella passed out. I think his appointment sends a message to everybody that America is a land of opportunity, is a land based upon merit. It uh, welcomes everybody and anybody who is merited and talented to come and work. And American companies appoint the most talented, the best person they have to run companies. And the city itself is celebrating. We used to listen all English names on the top level, uh, like, you know, on the countries. Uh, in, in, especially uh, on the uh, world stage, many English names we used to listen, but today uh, we are listening the new name that is Satya, that is really fantastic, uh, like we are feeling very happy. He gives inspiration to many students who are studying in Hyderabad Public School and he is from Hyderabad Public School only. And every Hyderabadi is today proud of him. Mr. Nadella's appointment ends months of speculation over who would succeed Mr. Balmer, who announced his intention to stand down in August last year. At one stage, incoming chairman John Thompson said more than 100 possible candidates had been identified. Rumored to be among them were the boss of car giant Ford, Alan Mulai, and Nokia chief executive Stephen Elope. Business desk. News. But Microsoft veteran Satya Nadella will have to find a way to reinvent the 40-year-old software giant as its core businesses continue to erode and founder Bill Gates stay on in the newly created role of technology advisor. Microsoft Corp named 22-year company veteran Satya Nadella as its next chief executive officer and said co-founder Bill Gates would step down as chairman and advise the new CEO on technology, marking an epochal change of control at the company that drove the PC revolution. Nadella, a 46-year-old born in India who led the creation of Microsoft's internet-based or cloud computing services, is only Microsoft's third CEO in 39 years, taking over from Steve Ballmer, who inherited the job from Gates in 2000. I would say first thing I want to do and focus on is ruthlessly remove any obstacles uh, that allow us to innovate, every individual in an organization to innovate, and then focus all of that innovation uh, on things that Microsoft can uniquely do. Uh, you know, we are the company that enables people to do more, uh, you know, to play, you know, get more, have more fun, uh, to create more. Nadella, who describes himself as a cricket and poetry lover, calls the appointment humbling in an email to the company's employees. The move ends a five-month search process at the Redmond, Washington-based company triggered by the August announcement of Balmer's decision to retire. Microsoft's new chairman, John Thompson, who led the search for a CEO, said the process went as planned. 
Meanwhile, let's hear what Bill Gates had to say. Satya's got the right background to lead the company during this era. There's a challenge in mobile com computing. There's an opportunity in the cloud. In the various business groups he's worked in, he's driven innovation, gotten architectures put together that really meet the needs of our customers. The opportunity for Microsoft is greater than ever before, whether it's taking Office and bringing it to interactive documents, letting you find your information in rich ways, securing your information in rich ways, or even building a new platform, a cloud platform that connects to all sorts of different devices. Gates left day-to-day -day work at Microsoft in 2008 to focus on philanthropy at Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Business Desk, DD News. So Satya Nadella doing India proud. Time for another short break, more after this short break.
भोरिया तुम भी चलो नागपुर नहीं भाई घर पर कुछ काम लगाया हुआ है दिल छोटा नहीं करना जिस तरह घर बैठे टीवी पर तेंदुलकर के मैच में लगे रहते हो ना उसी तरह ब्लॉक दफ्तर में इंटरनेट के जरिए तुम भी देख सकते हो समझे अरे भाई फिर तो मैं जरूर देखूंगा अच्छा मैं इस नए हाइब्रिड बीज के बारे में वैज्ञानिकों से बात करूंगा मैं वहाँ लगे अच्छे अच्छे फसलों के केत देखूंगा मैं तो गाय के अच्छे नस्लें देखूंगा मैं भी चलूंगी हम सब चलेंगे हम सब चलेंगे लाखों किसानों के लिए उन्नत कृषि की जानकारी कृषि वसंत से हो रही सदाबहार हरित क्रांति की तैयारी आइए मनाए मेहनती किसानों के महान योगदान का जश्न किसानों का महाकुंभ कृषि वसंत 9 से तेरह फरवरी 2014 नागपुर आप भी आइए Hi, welcome back, and now to our big auto expo 2014 special. India's flagship automobile show, Auto Expo, began on Wednesday with companies hoping that new models to be unveiled during the spectacle will help revive demand at a time when the sector is going through a prolonged slump. The first two days of the Expo to be held from February 5th to 11th has been reserved for media and the entry for general public will open from February 7th. Unlike in the past, the 12th edition of Auto Expo has been split into two parts due to space constraints, with the motor show being held at Greater Noida and Auto Components exhibition at Tragedy Medan during February 5th to 11th. Here is a special report by our auto correspondent Arun. Global automakers are all set to combat each other during the 12th edition of the Auto Expo. And all you auto lovers to watch this big fight, get up as 70 launches are awaited in this Auto Expo. With an estimated 70 new models and concept cars lined up, 12th edition of the Auto Expo couldn't have come at a better time for the auto industry. Companies are hoping that new models to be unveiled during the spectacle will help provide demand at a time when the sector is going through a prolonged slump. Once hailed as the fastest growing market in the world, car sales have hit a rough patch thanks to a sluggish overall economy and runaway fuel prices that have kept consumers away. And the best way to bring the industry back on track is an avalanche of launches which this edition of Auto Expo is lined up with. The business hour beginning 7th of February will start from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The ticket for business hour is priced at 500 rupees. Auto Expo for general public will be open from 1 p.m. and the tickets are priced at 200 rupees. However, ticket prices for the general public on 8th and 9th of February, that is Saturday and Sunday, would be 300 rupees. Ticket prices for 10th and 11th of February, that is Monday and Tuesday, for business hour would be 500 rupees. The ticket prices for general public would be 200 rupees. Tickets can be booked online from bookmyshow.com or tickets can also be booked over the phone from the call center as well. All event centric and more information can be enjoyed with the official Auto Expo Motor Show 2014 app which is available for all major mobile platforms, iOS, Android, Windows Phone. There are 14 exhibition halls and 6 entry gates. Personal wheelchairs are also allowed inside the venue for specially able persons. However, with shift in venue, there are fears that there will be drop in the number of footfalls, but a glitch-free event may just compensate for it. With Arun Sharma, Salve Chaudhary, TV News. So a big Auto Expo 2014 and we are joined by our Auto ex, uh, correspondent who is covering the event, Arun Sharma. Welcome to the studio, Arun. So today was the first day but open only for media. First two days are dedicated for media. So how was the experience today? It was, like, it was fantastic, so I have to be very honest with you because we saw so many concept cars being launched 
We saw so many new models being uh, launched in this Auto Expo. Although the factor is that this Auto Expo this time is in Greater Noida this time, not in Pragati Medan. I was about to go on that yeah. question. So will it dampen the spirits? It's very this, far in a sense. This, this is a very dicey situation because uh, uh, the Auto Expo team has uh, basically conducted a survey and they found that 58% people are ready to reach uh, the destination that is Greater Noida. They're ready to go there because there are so many auto lovers. Uh, before the people were saying that auto ki divan ki kabhi kam nahi ho sakti chai auto expo ko kitna bhi dur kyun le jaye. That was their saying that basically. That is true. Auto uh, lovers will go anywhere even it's very far from their yeah. home. So that, that was the basic reason. Uh, and the uh, 7th of February, that's a big day for all the auto lovers. People would be going there. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I would be uh, uh, like uh, expecting that uh, they would uh, be uh, quite disappointed this time because not so many great launches uh, can be expected this time. But according to some estimate, there are 70 launches. There are 70 launches. Uh, but uh, apart from the 70 launches, there are many concepts cars oh. that, that are being launched in this Auto Expo. And concept cars generally means that they are not going to be placed in the market. And many cars are being uh, 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 are being launched as a facelift. That means, for example, Chevrolet Beat. It's coming in new avatar. It's coming in, uh, with uh, some modification. So that is also considered as a as a kind of uh, uh, a kind of a launch. Now, one more thing uh, which uh, people would be uh, looking for in this Auto Expo. That is, uh, uh, we generally ask this question: "Bhaiya, gaadi kitne ki hai?" So people would not be uh, the the middle class segment would not find a car between a range of four lakh, six lakh rupees. This is a big mega event, a big auto but expo. But still, what is the key attraction of the auto expo this time around? Key auto attraction. Where should we go? Which hall should we go? See, all 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 the halls are equally attractive, given the fact that a lot of focus is given to technology this time because all the automakers this time around are trying to focus or trying to attract via technology. Because if you're auto lover, you have to be a technology lover because like uh, Maruti would be launching. Uh, uh, scenario tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Uh, at the Auto Expo. That's a clutchless car. There is no clutch in, in that car. That would be key focus. So this is a new technology which is being... And what about uh, two-wheelers? Um, you talked about uh, cars, but what about two-wheelers, Harley Davidson and all these bikes? I found one thing very interesting thing, uh, Siddhan, this time in the Auto Expo. Not only men, but women are also very much attracted towards the bike. They are bike lovers truly. They are they're looking for, they are asking, they are looking for bikes for their husband, for their, for their brother, for their friend, exactly. Uh, and the fact is that many hybrid bikes are available this time uh, in this Auto Expo. Harley Davidson, people were going crazy this time, all the media. Auto the, Expo people are, are exactly. de destined to go crazy there, right? Exactly. Know. So Harley Davidson uh, launched a car today that was a 750 street. Uh, it was a price between 5 lakh rupees. No matter how, 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 how costly the Harley Davidson car is, people were clicking photographs. Even though they, they cannot buy that car, they will click photographs and take home uh, the, the bikes photograph. Yes, Yamaha has launched a couple of bikes that, that will attract people and uh, people would also be buying that uh, Yamaha car, uh, Yamaha bike, uh, uh, Hero Motocorp has, uh, has some decent amount, uh, decent uh, bikes they have launched this time in the Auto Expo. So these key, this would be key attraction for women. Yeah, Paiju has launched a kind of scooter which will fit, but the, this Paiju uh, bikes or the pa Paiju scooters are quite costly. But yeah, women would obviously love to buy this. What about, what about the luxury uh, segment, Mercedes? BMWs and Jaguars. What about them? I've heard that Priyanka Chopra launched uh, a car uh, today in the evening. Tell us more about that. See, yeah, Priyanka Cho Chopra was over, uh, over there at the Auto Expo. See, all, uh, as I, I told you earlier, Siddhan, that this is the mega event. It's all about glitz and gam uh, glamour yeah. this time around, right? So, Audi, BMW, Mercedes. People would uh, uh, would be like middle class segment uh, might not buy that car, but they'll go there to see that car mm -hmm. to fulfill their dreams, just to watch that car, to sit in that car, to get click in, uh, in those. Uh, well, uh, everyone's dream is to exactly. own a car. So, if in case if you're going to uh, to Auto Expo, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, these are kind of cars you can watch because new technology has been uh, uh, introduced this time in this Auto Expo. Maruti is trying to do something mm -hmm. different this time around, as I said earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, Hyundai is uh, trying to do something different with some new technology. And this technology not only help you uh, mm. to, uh, they are very silent features in the car which will, which you can't notice as well. But yes, when you drive the car, you'll feel that yes, technology is with you. This new technology will help you. And yes, uh, for looks, for good performance, you can all obviously visit uh, the uh, uh, hall number, uh -huh. hall as far as Audi, BMW, and Mercedes the cars are concerned. That's hall number 12, I believe. Exactly. Yeah. And talking about the management, how, how's the management? How, I mean, uh, uh, 
facilities of food, security and all that. Uh, tell us more about that. That's a big question because uh, like in Pragati Medan, the footfall was very much higher. But this time around in Greater Noida, we might, we might not expect so many people reaching there. Yeah, uh, in the weekend time, we can obviously expect. But I believe the space is uh, large it's a, it's as compared space. to Pragati Medan. Exactly. It's, the, the, it's, it's a spacious place, the Greater Noida. As far as the security is concerned, security is very tight this time. There are uh, 14 gates, uh, 14 halls and 6 gates for the entry. So yes, yeah, security is very tight this time around. And uh, to be uh, to be uh, very precise on this part, security concern because this time it's in Greater Noida. Connectivity uh, connectivity can be a problem for you because uh, people who are living in Delhi uh, that would be a quite a power because there is no major connectivity. There is no metro running towards the Greater Noida. So all you will have to depend on your personal car or personal vehicle to reach the Auto Expo. Well, uh, uh, this is an extremely uh, uh, engaging discussion, but sorry, we have to stop the discussion given the fact that time is yeah. a constraint. But I would like to get few tickets from you for the auto expo. I'd like to go on Saturdays and Sundays. Sure. Thanks uh, for being with us. Arun, for, uh, for that uh, was Arun with me talking about the big uh, auto event happening in Greater Noida. I hope you all will go there and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.